This is the third video on my comments on the State of the Nation address by the President. The President did say that BE or broad-based BE needs to be accelerated. Expect some more legislation forcing people to buy stuff and to give some of your assets away in order to, to qualify for these various BE targets. Uh, the President also mentioned the investment commitments that has been made the last couple of investment committees that we've had in South Africa. But we have to remember that he's referring to commitments and not to actual investments. If we actually analyze the actual investments in South Africa, commitments and in actual investments are two completely different things. The president did admit that we slipped on the ease of doing business uh, criteria for doing business in South Africa. And apparently we're going to make things better in future, making it easier to do business in South Africa. The President mentioned that we will retain the Presidential Employment Initiative. That's an initiative of approximately 100 billion rand, whereby new jobs will be created. It's another word for saying that we're going to keep a lot of people busy. That is in conflict with Titu Mbuweni, the Minister of Finance, and I would like to see what the, how the Minister of Finance is going to handle this specific dilemma because he certainly is not in favor of spending another 100 billion rand on keeping people busy. The plan for electricity was very, very disappointing. The president did say that we need to do something about electricity. And one way of fixing the electricity problems in South Africa is simply to increase prices. So increase, I expect some significant increases in prices of ESCOM. Uh, it was quite disappointing that the president did not announce new limits in terms of how much private sector can generate without getting permission from some sort of limit of some sort of minister somewhere. Uh, and that will apparently be announced a little bit later. It's the same old story. The uh, minister responsible for that is probably going to sit in his hands as usual. I would have liked to see the president actually making an announcement that you can generate 50 uh, megawatt, for example, without getting any permission from some sort of kleptocrat somewhere. The... Um, the broadband, the rollout of broadband, again, for how many years now, has been postponed. There's new legislation coming as far as state and enterprises are concerned. The idea behind that is to make it more efficient and to make it, uh, to make it to make them more accountable, I suspect. Uh, but nothing about ESCOM and the massive, the debt burden that is currently at ESCOM or some of the other state and enterprises. Of course, as, uh, as always, there was blah, blah, blah about corruption, blah, blah, blah about crime. But one or two other things that I think also caught my eye, one is that a, an, a land agency will be established, which will fast track land reform. And keep in mind that the expropriation legislation will be completed within the next couple of, of months. The president announced that the special grant, the 350 rand grant per month, will be extended for another three months. And the TERS benefits will be extended for another three months as well. While the loan scheme, the criteria for the loan scheme, that 200 billion rand will be adjusted, making it easier for businesses to borrow money, which is certainly a very good thing. My biggest disappointment here is that, that we've, we've seen a president saying all the same sort of things all over again. This was a speech written by artificial intelligence, putting all sort of previous speeches together. Nothing really new, but my biggest really concern is that we are in a debt trap. Nothing really on how we're going to get out of this debt trap. There's nothing about these colleagues, uh, uh, their contempt of court, their contempt of the constitution. Nothing about that. Um, he didn't tell us anything about what the state is going to do to cut spending. And I am really, really disappointed in the president just repeating everything that he said before, saying that this time it will be different, like he said many, many times before. So I'm afraid he's business as usual.